gone back down to the cargo bays, sleeping off a four-course meal of fear, vanity, guilt and anger. You better get it before it comes back for seconds. <laughs> Look, just because it's an armor-plated alien killing machine that salivates unspeakable slobber doesn't mean it's a bad person. <laughs> What we've got to do is get it round a table, put together a solution package, perhaps over tea and biscuits. Look at him. You can't trust his opinion. He's got no anger. He's a total dork. Good point, Brighton. Let's take that on board, shall we? <laughs> David, David, do you have anything you want to bring to this forum? <laughs> well, yes, I have, actually, Arnold. Why don't we go down to the ammunition stores, get the nuclear warheads, and then strap one to my head? I'll knock the smagger to oblivion! <laughs> right, well, that, that's, that's very nice, David. Let's put that on the back burner, shall we? Cat, <laughs> um, let's have your contribution. Come on. Hey, don't ask me my opinion. I'm nobody. Just I'm not here. That's lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Moving on a step, and I hope no one thinks that I'm setting myself up as a self-elected chairperson. Just see me as a facilitator. Um, Crichton, what's your view? Don't be shy. Well, I think we should send Lister in as a decoy. And while it's busy eating him alive, we can creep up on it unawares and blast it into the stratosphere. <laughs> Good plan. That's the best plan yet. Let it get knackered eating me to death. Then you guys can just, like, catch it unawares. Well, that's certainly an option, David, yes. Um, but here's my proposal. Let's get tough. The time for talking is over. Uh, call it extreme if you like, but I propose we hit it hard and hit it fast with a major, and I mean major, leaflet campaign. <laughs> and while it's reeling from that, we follow up with a whisk drive, a car boot sale, some street theatre, and possibly even some benefit concerts, okay? Now, if that's not enough, I'm sorry, it's time for the t-shirts. <laughs> Mutants out. Chameleonic life forms? No thanks. <laughs> and if that's not enough, well, I don't know what will be. Has anyone ever told you that you are a disgusting, pus-filled bubo who has all the wit, charm, and self-possession of an Alsatian dog after a head swap operation? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you bunch of tarts, clobber in time! <laughs> There's a body bag out there with that scrub ball's name on it, and I'm doing up the zip. Anyone who gets in my way gets a napalm enemy. <laughs> I think everybody's right, except me. So let's forget that out of the huh? Um, I think we're all beginning to lose sight of the real issue here, which is, what are we going to call ourselves? Um, and I think it comes down to a choice between the League Against Salivating Monsters or my own personal preference, which is the Committee for the Liberation and Integration of Terrifying Organisms and their rehabilitation into society. Um, one drawback with that, the abbreviation is clitoris. 